This is like a treasure. It's the only piece of realistically um, authenticated footage of the Sasquatch in the world. And I would rank this number two behind the Zapruder film in terms of the amount of analysis that's actually been done on it. Undercurrents, dollars for disease, the allure of celebrity suffering, the Bigfoot film, the big fuss over a few seconds of celluloid, pleasure domes, inside the movie Megaplex. Snack food comes at a price that should be reserved for veal. Would you like a mortgage with that? Hi, I'm Wendy Mesley, and this is Undercurrents. Well, we have 952 frames, 53 seconds of film, and perhaps the most intriguing piece of footage ever shot on this planet. The Patterson Bigfoot belongs to the species Cassius Cowus. Movies are stuffed with digital special effects. You can even make your own on a computer at home. So we all know that just about any photographic image can be faked but as Catherine Legg reports, the skeptics haven't yet won the battle of the Bigfoot film. This is the 20th of October, 1967. Uh, the venue is Bluff Creek in Northern California. Roger Patterson and uh, Robert Gimlin are looking for traces of Sasquatch. Patterson had a book to push and a documentary he was working on. And this was the centerpiece of his documentary. And they see a figure crouching by the stream. It stands up. They are uh, immediately aware that this is not a human being, that this is a Sasquatch. They had a guy in a suit, and they had him practice over and over again, practice the walk. Eventually, it walks up into the hills where it, it uh, is lost from sight. And this becomes... This what? becomes history. Well, we have 952 frames, 53 seconds of film, and perhaps the most intriguing piece of footage ever shot on this planet. It's called the Patterson film, and for more than three decades, it survived as the proof of Sasquatch existence. But in today's know-it-all media culture, this film just can't be. Or one of the greatest hoaxes ever found. There's no doubt in my mind that the Patterson film is a hoax. Using the latest computer technology, we've stabilized the film so it's easier to see. For me, its behavior is definitely odd. What's really odd is that this alleged fake is back in the international headlines for its gazillionth debunking. There's new evidence tonight that a film showing Bigfoot may be just a man in a monkey suit. That film is a fake. Jump on the latest media Bigfoot bring down bandwagon. He claims it's a picture of a fastener or clasp. That's right, folks. Cliff Crook thinks Bigfoot is wearing a bell. This is the location where we spotted the... Um... Object. By stretching the limits of photocopier technology, right Bigfoot's nether region right revealed a secret. Can't see it? Exactly well, Cliffs right. produced the evidence to prove it. These are, are replicas of that little bell fastener object that we found. And a little fleur de loup at the top, a little rectangle type handle with a little S on the side down here on the bell housing. But this film debunker is a Sasquatch believer. He's been tracking yeah, Bigfoot for 42 uh, years. Are you sure that that's in there? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. We've got the computer enhancements to show. And other people aren't so sure. They think it's photographic noise. Mm -hmm. Once again, but Cliff sees this in this. And he's taken some flack for it. Uh, threats in the mail. Uh, people telling me I'm the hoax artist. The backlash came from the Patterson film believers who live on the internet, a beastly backbiting pack who'll eat doubters alive. 
that he would take a picture from a book, okay, that's screen printed and therefore full of pixels and dots and everything else, and then uh, magnify it by 440 times to come up with what he did. Uh, that's just not possible. So are you a believer? You sound like a believer. I'm not a believer. I'm a concluder. What I did was I studied this film over and over again over a period of 11 years. I've read scientific analysis of this by scientists in the Soviet Union, in Canada, in the United States, who've analyzed the film and come to the same conclusions that I have, that we have a bipedal, unknown hairy hominid walking around in the Pacific Northwest and, and the western part of Canada. If it is a hoax, are you going to feel like an idiot? or? Um, I won't feel like an idiot because I approached it from a scientific point of view. Debunking this film means destroying the gold standard for Bigfoot evidence, calling all other research into question. This isn't good for the groupies. They would have looked at this thoroughly before daring to put this in print because if it is proven wrong, their reputations go down the toilet. And if everybody's invested something in the Patterson film, what's in debunking it for Cliff? It's one of the better known photos. He has his own Bigfoot pics that he bought from a forest ranger in 1995. Well, some people had speculated, because you have this famous photo, that if you discredit the Patterson film, that makes this photo more valuable. I never thought of it that way. Uh, I hope they're right, because I'd like to make some money off of that photo. <laughs> Crook's Basement Museum, Bigfoot Central, is a testament to the money made off the hairy back of the big guy by a slew of entrepreneurs. Coffee mugs, pictures, bumper stickers, images spawned from the Patterson film's definitive beastie. In the science of marketing, where the Patterson Bigfoot belongs to the species Cassius Cowis. It's a pretty well-known image. It appears quite frequently whenever you talk about Sasquatch, particularly the black and white version of this frame here. Because that one's free? <laughs> that one's free. It's in the public domain. But the rest of the film is under copyright. BC's Mountain Beer is here. Does he return the empties? And if so, how? Like in this ad campaign, every time the Patterson film is used, ka -ching! The copyright is shared by Patterson's widow and the star of this commercial, Canadian Bigfoot researcher Renee DeHinden. What do you think I am? Crazy or something? He ain't crazy. He turned down John Kirk's $100,000 offer to buy the rights to the Patterson film. This is like a treasure. It's the only piece of realistically um, authenticated footage of a Sasquatch in the world. And I would rank this number two behind the Zapruder film in terms of the amount of analysis that's actually being done on it. I get a really big kick out of hearing the, the so-called Bigfoot experts, especially when you see this guy when they say he's seven foot two. Had to be double jointed five. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and he has no, uh, his, his deltoid muscles or whatever are connected to his head. What do these guys know? Well, the Patterson film is about to get stomped on home turf. Yakima was the hometown of Patterson and his alleged Bigfoot. These guys say they play golf and drink beer with Bigfoot. Nicest guy you ever want to meet. And he is one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. Yakima newspaper reporter David Wasson got the Sasquatch scoop of a lifetime. Attorney Barry M. Woodard confirmed Friday he's representing a Yakima man who says he wore the elaborate monkey suit in the Patterson-Gimlin film and that his client has passed a lie detector test to prove it. Does Mr. Bigfoot need another suit in his life? Well, someone has to negotiate for the rights to his story. We've received calls from uh, extra Dateline, um, numerous uh, papers, uh, radio stations. Is he just looking to make a buck then? If there's somebody willing to, to pay for it, obviously he's not going to turn that down. Uh, that wasn't his motivation. But even if Bigfoot publicly cops to the hoax, you won't shake some believers. I don't think there's much you could do to alter their opinion on on the film or probably crop circles or, you know, the alien autopsy or anything else. A creature appears to be walking in an upright position, eight, nine, maybe uh, ten feet tall. It's has, so has easy to make fun, is, is asserting an insufferable uh, smarty pantsity. Introducing the Sony Digital 8 Handycam camcorder. It's a, a, a grotesque human. Single-handedly solving the world's great mysteries. Media Culture 101. If you can't explain it, exploit it.
enjoying all this rare and unique content, please show your support by subscribing and leaving comments.